With Helper Capital, Child, how important is it? I mean, tell us in a nutshell why it's important. Well, it is so important because one in three children across the UK live below the poverty line, and it's just really important that Helper Capital Child gives back to these children. It helps to support homeless children, children that have been abused, terminally ill children, like across the board completely. And uh, that's why it's so important. I mean, the kids need help, and that's why we're here. Dave, in a nutshell, sum up Charlton's charity. I mean, it's a long time now you've been involved. We've had the concert before. What is it for you that makes it so important? Well, for me, it was a real honour to get involved with the Charlton Athletic Community Trust because it meant that I get free free tickets to the game. Um, no, I'm kidding. No, it's not. I, no. Yeah. She's not kidding. That's the <laughs> Obviously, as, as many people know, I was kind of born and raised in Charlton, so to be able to do something that helped out my, you know, immediate area and the area around it. I mean, we now engage with 10,000 people a week, which is incredible, Mark, of the facilities that we now have and the hard work that everybody around the Trust does. Um, and as far as the gig goes, I mean, when I sat down with the guys and they asked me to be the Youth Service Ambassador, it's kind of like, well, I'll do whatever I can. What do you want? And they said, well, can you threaten some of the biggest artists in the UK that you won't play their songs anymore on the Capital Breakfast Show? They're for making them agree to do a gig and I went of course I can do that cacked of course I can do that so we had Ollie Mers and Lawson last year and I'm at the moment just working on uh, February the 13th at the Indigo Tour I'm working on the lineup now Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today uh, supporting two charities that are very close to my heart. Um, ever since I came on board as ambassador last year uh, for the youth services at the Charlton Athletic Community Trust, it has grown and grown and I've been very proud to be part of it. <laughs> Uh, Michael, first of all, tell us about the, the Charlton Community Trust and kind of uh, what it means to you as someone who's been around the club for an awful long time. Well, all football clubs r rely on, on the community around them for support and put very little back. Uh, Charlton made a decision many years ago that because the people of Charlton and, ar and the area around helped us to get our ground back after we lost it, that that really sparked a closeness between the club and the community and the sense in the club always that we had a responsibility to the fans and the local community. And that has built and built over the years until we now have uh, the Community Trust, which is doing such great work with kids in the boroughs around us. Say to him, £1,000 is all yours. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you for your fabulous generosity. Thank you for your support for Charlton Athletic. Um, I'm delighted to see this is the second one of these that we've done. I'm delighted to see here today a lot of old faces, quite a few new faces, and but we won't go there, a few new faces on old faces, but let's not uh, <laughs> think about that too much. Uh, hope you've all enjoyed today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Hope to see you all again uh, next year. And with that, I must go to work. Thank you very much indeed.